Where are we going? Well, we've come out of Romania and we've arrived in Bulgaria. Oh, this is the border crossing. And we had to go through that sheep dip. Yeah, where they're quite strict, aren't they? On everything, including... Swine flu. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Have you got any pork, love? And they were so concerned that they even look... Yeah, yeah, I have a looky meat fridge. A man in the van, Jay, a man in the van. It's unheard of. And then next bit of housekeeping we had to do. Vignette. A vignette, which cost us about, a, well, it's equivalent of about 17 euros for a week. But that's because we were heavy. We were over three and a half tonnes. I think it's cheaper if you're not. And most of these roads that we actually went on were vin toll roads, weren't they? So you did need to It was. Them. They were it hot just on them as well. Do you remember all the police cars we used to see? Bulgaria checking? particularly actually was, wasn't it? No, it really was. They, yeah. had, they had toll cars, didn't toll they? Toll cars that and then that... police cars. Oh, look a map. This is how big Bulgaria is. This is where it is. This is how big it is compared to the UK. Quite small, actually. It's about this half is... the size of the UK. Yeah. I find this quite interesting. It is really, really interesting. <laughs> and this is a map of the world. I can't remember what all this no. is, actually. I'll have to look, because it's a while since I've done it. Driving on the roads. And off we go. Full steam ahead into Bulgaria. Dobr den. What does that mean? I can't remember. Yeah, that's because we're in Greece now. Hello. And you forget so quickly. Anyway, so we got into Bulgaria. We'd set off quite early. Uh, weren't quite sure where we were going, but I thought a lighthouse. We might love be a, good... a lighthouse. Joe loves a lighthouse. And a lighthouse with information in English. Yes. And information in. Bulgarian. Is it? I don't yes. know if it is. And information in. Whatever other language. Yeah. Um, with birds. With birds. Well, they were quite noisy. We needed a paint job. It did, it was a bit tired looking, but it was a lighthouse. I had fulfilled my obligation. True, true. We had found the sea yeah. in Bulgaria and we found a lighthouse. Start, it looks a lot tidy, doesn't it? Look at all the carts and horses. I don't know that it turned out to be no. much tidier, but... Um, Not so much was litter a, around. It was think. a good start. And this, the other thing we needed was Bulgarian leather. Leather. We needed leverage. Leather. Lever. So we went to this town of Balchik. Which was all being dug up. Well, and we ended up going all round the houses. Oh, yeah. That lorry had to reverse so we it could get round the big pothole it. that the pallet was covering. <laughs> so down into the little port. Balchik, I think, is a small resort, isn't it? Yes. On a very hilly resort, but pretty, pretty little harbour. We went and sat on the pier for a bit, didn't we? The oh, water was and saw so the clear. Yes. Yes, <laughs> not four. <laughs> that sounded it though. And then we drove off with well, the sea. Yeah, we could have walked along there, but we didn't. We <laughs> chose to drive off up, up and away. Yeah. And we were heading for a campsite because we needed water. Yep. We needed all sorts. We wanted electric because it was rugby. We wanted to make sure we had continual power for <laughs> you to be able to watch the rugby. Oh. Um, and we got but, near it and you thought, hang on a minute. Well, I'm some not of going the roads down are just road. horrendous. So I went to have a look and it was so, so bad. So you got out and I, I drove us in. But it was lovely, a really nice campsite. And we woke up in the morning <laughs> having agreed, we were talked into, thankfully, because it was brilliant. Jeep Safari! There's the jeep, and here we go. It's so fast. And it was a it was a brilliant day for you because you had so many people to talk to. We went with the drivers and picked up about forty Israeli tourists who'd come to Varna for the gambling that they can do there and chat, 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 Jay. Perfect. <laughs> Are we allowed to scream? No! I'm going to go to the salon. I'm going to go to the salon. I'm going to go to the salon. I'm Oh, you've lost it. Oh, 
lost your space now. You're at the back, nearly. I have to say that I was really surprised how noisy and squealy you were, considering how much you like roller coasters and, and everything. I like to wear my heart on my sleeve. What are you doing, Jay? I'm listening to the rugby on the radio. Because I can't open my eyes. Oh, I can't open my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the stunning views. Well, we had to stop. Everyone took in the view. We did. And gave you a rest yeah. from all your screeching. And then we ended up a typical Bulgarian house. And we were all invited inside to try some of this homemade rakia. So, rugby. Rugby, that was really rugby. Rugby. But then we went off, didn't we? To the most random bit. Going air gun rifle shooting. Well, every, they gave everyone a go at plastic bottles in the tree. Oh. And, well, they enjoyed it. We weren't bothered because we'd done it before, but you were incensed at the thought of the plastic bottles just being left Left out. in the tree, so I made so you go and take them out. So you insisted on taking it out. <laughs> you just said the same thing I did. Yes, we said it together in unison. Yeah. And then we headed back to the campsite. Actually, they brought all the... Um, Israelis. Israeli guests, if you like, back to the campsite for a bit of a do. Oh, it was fun. And uh, that was fun, and you joined in yeah. completely. Well, they needed a volunteer. This is my colleague, Joe, uh, conductor from where you from? Conductor from Such a talented person I am. And then we made made friends with yeah. everybody. They could all speak beautiful English. One girl lived in London, didn't she? Yeah. And then they went. Are you sad all your party friends have gone? Yeah. We can have our own party now. Yeah. Let's do some washing. Next morning, all was not lost, was it? No, you made a I new made friend. a new friend. Francois. Soir? Francois. Oh, Francois. The frog. Okay. I've been doing lots of things, some washing, and I've made some bread, gluten-free bread rolls, and they look fab. Yeah. I just wonder what they're going to taste like, mind. I know, that'll be good. Yeah. That's in the Ramoska, look. This is the Ramoska. It's covered in flour, as you can see. So the, the heating element's in the lid. We can only use that when we're on electric, which yeah. we are. We're having a three day chill out so you can watch the rugby. Which I haven't seen because I went on a Jeep safari. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sauce, sauce. yeah, this is the dough. But I didn't have a chance to put it in because it was too much, not enough room. Put that in now. Do you know DeCampo, eat your heart out? See, si, it's a wonderful. You sheet, you put it on a sheet. <laughs> spread it out. <laughs> now I've got to try and get the rugby working because France are beating Wales and it's buffering all the time. Fantastic! Well done, Wales! So that's it, time to go. From our ramshackled place that we stayed in. And we loved it. It's it one of our favourite campsites that we've ever been to. We just love the simplicity of it. Yeah, we did. so great introduction to Bulgaria. Yes. Ciao! Ciao, everybody. What have you put this photo in for? Well, it's your favourite photo of me because I look so gorgeous and you're always complaining that I'm never in the videos. So, 
<laughs> there, there you are in all your glory. Yeah. Cool, you're gorgeous. <laughs>